So recently there was a uh, Rob Wolf interview with Joe Rogan on a Joe Rogan podcast. Here's a, here's a little snippet there. Now I've got nothing personal against Rob Wolf or Joe Rogan. I'm just sharing my comments and criticisms. Who is Joe Rogan? Joe Rogan is the UFC commentator. Rob Wolf is a very well-known author. He writes the book called The Paleo Diet Pollution. And it's been a very popular book to read. So just sharing my comments here on Rob Wolf, the author. No, nothing personal against Rob Wolf and Joe Rogan. Just sharing my comments here. So I want to firstly say that I totally agree with Rob Wolf about the sleep. You know, the sleep things is so critical. And he talks about taxes and stuff like that. And thumbs up from the Duran Rider there. Definitely early nights, getting enough sleep's critical, and it's something we overlook. And that's what I agreed with with a Rob Wolf there. Now, I disagree with quite a few points, and we'll get through those now. I like how the interview started with supplement, a little plug for supplements that help brain function. <laughs> that's interesting, because that high-fat paleo diet, you get a bit little lipemic in the brain cells, and you can't think clearly. You get a bit foggy, like, I need some more... Coffee, man. Where's that organic black coffee? Where's that organic quad latte, man? I, I'm what? What is the question? Can't even think. It's like your brain turns to peanut butter <laughs> when you're eating that much fat. So, in my opinion, Rob Wolf really shit the bed in this interview with Joe Rogan. Now, Rob Wolf comes under a lot of fire because he promotes weight loss and he promotes that paleo diet's good for women for weight loss. But then a lot of critics on forums say, well, Rob Wolf. If the paleo diet is so good for weight loss, how come your wife is overweight? Now, there's nothing wrong with being overweight. We all know the, the risks of heart disease and stuff. So if you're a model for weight loss and you're overweight, it's, the, the critics really, I think they really give Rob Wolf a hard time on that one. And Rob Wolf says that carbohydrates make you fat, so stay away from carbohydrates. Don't eat more than one piece of potato a day, <laughs> one little potato a day. But then Rob Wolf says... My critique of the vegan diet is when I was eating a high-carb vegan is like I went from 180 pounds to 140 pounds. So I'm thinking, hang on, the carbohydrate vegan diet makes you fat, but your complaint is you got too lean on that thing. Interesting. And Rob Wolf says the environmental benefits of eating beef over plant foods is you need no oil to produce beef. I'm like, well, hang on, Rob. Refrigeration, transport, uh, driving that person who has the coronary heart attack to the ambulance takes a bit of oil. You know, all that stuff, the pharmaceutical products people need for cholesterol. Ice, right? High cholesterol is good in paleo world. <laughs> I like how Rob Wolf says, when it comes, Joe Rogan says, so what do you think, would you eat a lot of carbohydrates? And Joe, uh, Rob Wolf says, I'd rather drink a lot of alcohol than eat a lot of carbohydrates. If I was going to have a binge on carbs, it would be alcohol based. Rob Wolf says he drinks a few glasses of alcohol every day. And he's a fan of drinking. Rob Wolf says he's a big fan of coffee. And I can relate because when I was doing the paleo diet back in 1999, man, I was just going from cup of coffee to cup of coffee. I was just, I was so shot. I was carbohydrate deficient, glucose exhausted. And I was literally running on caffeine. That's why you see all the paleo crew, boom, 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 boom. Caffeine, 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 caffeine. Rob Wolf even shits the bed again where he says... The more coffee you drink, the better, based on the studies. And my question is, would you give coffee to a baby? Rob Wolf says that whiskey's good because it doesn't have any sugar in it. So whiskey gets the thumbs up from paleo man Rob Wolf. Rob also mentions he's a big fan of nicotine gum. My question is, why... That's not paleo. There was no caveman drinking coffee and drinking alcohol and eating nicotine gum to stay awake because they're eating such a high-fat diet. In fact, back in the day, there was no high-fat animals, really, was there? <laughs> How much fat's in a mouse? How much fat is in a freaking ostrich leg? There's not much fat at all. So I like when they say, fats, 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 but reality is, paleo world had no fucking fats, man. This is a funny one. Rob Wolf says there's, not, there's no protein in plants. And then Joe says, well, my vegan friends say there is protein in plants. And Rob goes, oh, but it's, it's third world protein. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? And then Joe Rogan says, hang on, what about my vegan friends that, you know, uh, what about Mac Danzig, the USC fighter? And Rob Wolf's like, oh, oh, well, he just sort of <laughs> goes, oh, some people can do it. <laughs> so hang on, you just said that you couldn't do it. Now some people can do it. Reality is nobody in athletic world, can do the paleo diet. Why? Because paleo diet, you only had to have a potato a day if you're training really hard. 
Otherwise, it's no carbs at all. It's maybe a little handful of blueberries, which won't support glycogen restoration. So impossible to be an athlete on a paleo diet unless you're chugging down the Gatorade, banana smoothies and stuff like that. But that's not paleo, is it now? Paleo is low carb, high fat. That's what we're talking about. So when you're in a ketogenic diet, your athletic performance is done. And if you're on a ketogenic diet and you're not an athlete, but you want to be an athlete, impossible. So Rob Wolf says the vegans have to take protein powder, but then again, hang on, doesn't Rob Wolf know Mark Sisson, who's like the primal author guru? Mark Sisson sells a primal whey protein powder. So hang on, if vegans have to take a protein powder, how come Mark Sisson's paleo primal fanboy clout has to take the primal whey protein powder? <laughs> Rob Wolf says that vegans don't get enough omega-3 and vitamin D. And then later in the interview, Rob Wolf says it's a good idea to eat meat and take your fish oil for omega-3 and take a vitamin D3 supplement. Interesting, that one. Now, I listen to the whole interview. Two hours and 52 minutes. Can you imagine? Because I was... I thought, I'll just listen to it for five minutes. First of all, I'm not going to listen to it at all because it's just, you know, sales talk. If I, I'll, I'll give people a chance, you know. And uh, I'll listen to, listen to a few minutes, and I just kept going, because I was just like, man, what's Rob going to say next? <laughs> Rob Wolf says he's a big fan of cricket bars from Thailand. And I was like, cricket bar? What's a cricket bar? And then he says it's a cricket protein bar. Here's a cricket here. Cricket protein bar from Thailand. Now, why do you have to supplement your diet with cricket protein? I mean, I agree. Crickets are a paleo food, and insects should be a big bulk part of any paleo primal eater. I agree on that one. Tasty. Not bad. There's a good one under here. Oh. They're actually dehydrated. Kind of crispy. Yep. Mm. Not bad at all. Another good one there. We would have eaten a lot of insects back in the day, do you reckon? I reckon. I think someone said our ancestors weren't too proud to lift a rock for their dinner. Yep. Mm. Pick it off the tour out of Camry. Not bad. So what does it taste like? The grasshopper legs. It's um quite nice. Hard to describe. Yeah. Not so, bad. So what you got the one left here? There's two on the other I might there. be nearly done. This might be my last one. Yep. But they are kind of Moorish. It's a good balance of uh, nutrition, you think, in the insect? Oh, yeah? You, you studied at uni, didn't you? I did. Yeah? Yeah. When well, you're eating the exoskeleton, which has got a lot of the calcium and that, that would be in the bones of other animals. So from a nutritional standpoint, it seems insects would be a far more... They might be more balanced than, say, red meat. An eco way to do that would be to scrape the crickets off the bumper bar off your car and consume them because that's totally sustainable and it's raw protein. So you get the raw cricket amino acids. Rob Wolf says if you're really fit, it's okay to eat one potato at dinner time. Well, I'll tell you what, if I was eating potatoes instead of fruit, I'd be eating 30 potatoes a day, literally. It's 30 bananas a day or 30 potatoes a day. So one potato a day, fuck, no wonder those paleo people are jacked on caffeine and have zero cardio fitness and have to take those pre-workout jacked DMAA supplements before a workout, and even then, people only fit like Rob Wolf. Again, nothing personal against Rob Wolf. Yeah, I critique his nutritional advice, but I'm just saying Rob Wolf used to be a competitive athlete, and now he's not. Rob Wolf isn't even a district level competitive athlete. You know, he's, he was not even a fit personal trainer. So when someone goes on a healthier diet and their performance goes down, and they're not an EPO or whatever in the past, it's like, hang on, like if your diet's so healthy, how come you aren't a competitive athlete? And you're talking about it. Like, what's up with that? So that's a big critique of mine is all these paleo primal people, they're not competitive athletes, but a lot of them used to be. <laughs> that says something. If you used to be a competitive athlete and now you're not, it's like, hang on. Personally, I'm setting personal bests, running and cycling, personal bests, and I'm 35. I'm fitter, three times as fit as I was when I was 18. 35, man. So that's something. That's a testimony to the power the regeneration effects of a high carb, low fat, vegan lifestyle, 30 bananas a day. 
Bob Wolf quotes a study where it says the slimmest people, the healthiest people, the fittest people ate the most saturated fat. And I'm like, what planet was that from? Because then I'd be asking the question, how come Lauren Cordain and Sally Fat, the health gurus, are overweight themselves? Lauren Cordain's like the grandfather of the paleo primal diet. Sure, he's a nice guy, lovely fella. He's overweight though. It's like claiming to be a world banker and you're begging on the street. I mean, and Joe Rogan was talking about how he likes to have a kale green smoothie for breakfast. And Rob Wolf says a better breakfast, the best, the best breakfast would be bacon and eggs with lots of coffee. <laughs> and Joe Rogan's like, really? You're like, that's awesome. And I'm just like, oh my god, what are you thinking, man? And if you listen carefully, Rob Wolf says that the, the bacon is a slow release glucose. And I'm like, <laughs> What? And uh, then J Rob Wolf pulls out the Lear Keith soundbite. Farming kills animals as well. And it's like, yes, it does, but we're not killing animals, man. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? That's just like saying, because this money passed through a drug dealer at some part in the last 10 years, it went through a drug dealer's wallet. I'm, I'm part of that drug deal as well. <laughs> so I should just be a drug dealer anyway. Well, if you walk outside and you step on an ant, that's just the same as cutting down the Amazon to grow grass-fed beef. It's just the same. And then Rob says the best diet for type 2 diabetics would be a ketogenic diet. And I'm like, Rob Wolf, how come you're ignoring the elephant in your bedroom? You're, you're ignoring the elephant. You're ignoring the fucking blue whale in the telephone booth. Read this book, please, Rob Wolf. Dr. Neil Bernard's for a program for reversing diabetes. Clinical shit, man. None of this paleo bro science, PhD in bro science, whatever, man. No more caveman nonsense. That's the real deal, man. Type 2 diabetic should eat ketogenic diet? What the fuck? This is what they want to be eating, man. Clinical data. Can't believe. That's just crazy, man. Crazy. <laughs> like, what the fuck? And Rob Wolf says the best diet for heart disease is one high in saturated fat. And I'm like... Oh, no wonder he sells so many books because he's telling people good things about their bad habits. This is what you want to get up to speed with, Rob. Prevent and reverse heart disease by Dr. Esselstein. Now, people ask me, Harley, why do these paleo primal people pretend that these people don't exist? I'm like, duh! They want to sell books and they want to sell the primal protein whey powders and the fish oil and the cod liver oil, micro cleanse from Iceland for 80 bucks a bottle. They want to tell people good things about their bad habits because that's where the fucking money is. Telling people to give up KFC and McDonald's and coffee and, you know, think about it. Like, if you listen to the interview, when, when Rob Wolf says, Joe Rogan, bacon eggs are the best breakfast on earth, Joe Rogan's like, really? I've been drinking those kale smoothies? Like, oh, what? Like, you know, people want to believe the bullshit. It's like, if I, as a personal trainer, I can make a lot more money by just selling people bullshit on the internet. Like, you know, I'll do some photoshops or just you know, take some diuretics, get more cut and go, look at this, you know, bacon eggs for breakfast. <laughs> you know, recently there was two deaths from heart attacks in the paleo world in the last week, the last 10 days. Two deaths from heart attacks. And they were young guys, a paleo blogger and a very famous paleo primal naturopath person in Adelaide, Australia. Now, they were all going, yeah, yeah, saturated fat's good for you. <laughs> And it's sad, man. That's sad. So that's why I speak out because people have, they're just like getting conned or they're just delusional. It's like, what the fuck? Don't, don't you guys read the, the, the clinical data? <laughs> like, how the fuck is eating Big Macs and steak for breakfast healthy? It's not. Bacon eggs for breakfast is the healthiest food ever? <laughs> Sorry, it ain't. And then there was Rob Wolf talks about his time on the Discovery Show where I watched it as well, and actually entirely, and I'm just sitting there flicking through the channels on the cable, and there was uh, Rob Wolf's face come up. Oh, there's Rob Wolf on the Discovery Channel. That's right, he was doing a show. And then they, they were there. They didn't eat for eight days. They were trying to prove how good the paleo diet was, <laughs> and they went out into the jungle. Not in the jungle, so they went out into the Northern Hemisphere. For eight days, they didn't eat. <laughs> they didn't eat any food. Rob Wolf says he lost, like, 18 pounds. Now, if the paleo diet's so easy to do, how the fuck are you losing 80 pounds in a week? Now, you know, like, man, if you put me in the jungle, I'd be eating fruits and all sorts, plant foods, loving it. I'd be doing running marathons every day looking for food, just having fun in the sun versus trying to risk my life 
spearing a fucking caribou and getting chased by bears and shit. <laughs> Fuck that. What I felt, what I found funny was that show is that all the girls were crying and some of the guys felt a bit guilty when they killed the deer. And, uh, even Rob Wolf's look in his face was a bit like, oh, fuck, like, that's, that, that's where meat comes from. Like, you know, because Rob Wolf isn't a hunter. He's like the typical paleo problem people just drive the SUV to the supermarket, pull your vibe and five fingers on, walk in the supermarket, pay on your credit card, get your little plastic wrap steak or, you know, no, you, don't, you don't even touch the blood. You get the tongs, put it in the microwave or whatever, cook it up and eat it with your fork and knife, bit of mouth fresh and afterwards and you're done. There's a total disconnect. But when people had to clean it and gut it, it's like you'd see on the Discovery Show, everyone's disgusted. The girls were crying. People are like, oh, what the fuck is this? And then the next day, like, I need some carbs. I want some carbs. Was, if you get a chance to watch that show, it's a classic example of the truth of the paleo primal diet. It's just unsustainable. And I love this picture of Mark Sisson and Rob Wolf at the ice cream parlor. Now that, everyone loves sweet foods, man. I agree. Sweets is the go. Fruit's your friend. Gobble up the... Put down the ice cream, pick up the fruit. And then the, Rob Wolf says he, he caught a mouse when he was on his camping trip on that Discovery show, he cooked the mouse up, and he said, I cooked it up really well in case I had dengue fever. And I'm like, hang on, no animal in nature that eats meat has to fucking cook it to make it safe to eat. If meat was so natural, how come we have to cook the fuckers to get rid of all the bacteria and stuff? How come we're the only animals to cook meat? Every fucking animal just grab that fucking mouse and chuck it in the mouth and go, yeah, that was good. How can, we not, how can we not have to cook the fruit? If you have to cook something to make it safe to eat, then chances are you shouldn't be fucking eating it. And the last comment where Rob Wolf really confirmed his shit, the shat the bed in this interview was where he compared the veal industry, like Joe Rogan brought up the cruelty of veal, where they lock him in crates and shit. This is what happens. They lock the, what happens with the organic dairy industry, all dairy industries, they pull away the male calf and the calf gets put in a, a black fucking shed, so it gets anemic, so the meat's all fucking tender and shit like that. They make the cage out of stainless steel, so it can't lick the iron, so it becomes anemic. They tie the animal down with the collar, so it can't even get up and build its muscles. It can't even stand up. Because if it stands up, it builds the muscles, the meat becomes too tough for their fucking paleo primal gourmet people. So what they have is they have this fucking sick veal industry, and Joe Rogan says it's fucking crazy, isn't it? It's cruel. What do you think about that, Rob Wolf? And Rob Wolf says, it's just like watching Jersey Shore. I agree, it's cruel. <sighs> Fucking hell, man. So my conclusion for the interview was that Joe Rogan sounded half-conscious. He was sort of, you know, open to it. But Rob Wolf had his little paleo primal caveman blinkers on going, no, I can't I comprehend that. So that's my comments and criticisms of that podcast. What did you think? Post your comments and questions down below. Want to learn more? Subscribe. Paleo primal diet, debunked. <laughs>